Uh, Andy 5 3 this evening, what are your thoughts on the game? We started sloppy. Um, yeah, it comes from little fine details. Um, but we've got plenty of time to work on it. There's no, there's no, um, no panic for me. Um, we asked the players to play a certain way, and they did. Um, a little too expansive at certain times, um, but we can, we can uh, tune that and, and put in the finer detail they want for him. Yeah, we spoke at half time about being a bit too expansive in possession, so it's something we can work on. Um, but yeah, it's. Um, it was a good, good run out and games were a tough side. Um, obviously, we're going to get a lot of stern tests in the league, but yeah, I'm, I'm pleased with the players' effort and application. Um, just the Christmas of passing, uh, decision making, um, all these, I say, fine tuning, but um, yeah, it's another step. So, you see the character of the squad as well, 2 0 down with a couple of minutes to go, and it's 2 2 at half time. Yeah, and that came from just a little bit of crisp passing, and it, we've, we've won two corners in five minutes. And he's like, right, right, so we've got a big side this year, so we will cause problems on set pieces. And um, yeah, it didn't change the team talk because I still thought the same pictures. We just needed to pass with a little bit more purpose and tempo. Uh, we allowed games to back in the shape, and then, then it broke on us because we were really expansive at times. But like I said, we're asking players to play a certain way, and we have a lot of pressure on the ball. Just need, need to use it a bit better. Uh, a few good goals tonight as well. Yeah, they were. Um, again, I thought the, the, the lads that came on uh, showed a fresh impetus and, and an energy about them. So we want them from substitutes. Um, I thought they did. I thought they gave a good account of themselves. Um, everyone's still playing for the shirt, so I don't want people reading to the start at level. I need to let them but again, we'll switch around on, on, uh, on Saturday against Brig. Um, and they'll have a different run out, different team. So relationships are still getting new uh, and they're still building between players. So, yeah, like I say, Good impact from the subs. Start wasn't great, um, but the overall picture is we're still building. Having not spoken to you after Saturday's game, what are your thoughts on that one as well? Saturday again, pleased with the performance, well, application and effort, and yeah, the pitch was a little bit tough to play on. It, it looked flat and, and, and green, but it was, it was very hard and bobbly and bouncy, so give the players a little leeway for that. Um, but now we've, we've reached the, like the third week and it's coming to the the end of the fitness levels, is it? Um, the fitness training. Now we start really um, find get the finer detail in, the, in our play, and, that, and now we'll come back to the sharpness. As you can see now, there's people going to press the ball, but running past it because we've not done that real sharp change of directions yet, and we've not done that, that in training. I mean, they have done little bits, but really getting that one-on-one -on -one duel, one-on-one -on -one battle. So again, we're at a good stage of fitness, but then the sharpness now comes in. Uh, obviously, two signings today. Um, Joe Rowley been on trial, so mm -hmm. that one's happened. And obviously, yeah. Brad Nicholson, what are your thoughts on those two? Joe done very well since he's been in. Um, he's had um, success in the division as well, which we want people who had success. Um, good technical midfielder, got, got the ability to play ball balls. I think you saw today sliding balls through for, for Carl and, and, uh, and Fish. So, yeah, uh, Joe's a good acquisition. And, and Brad. I liked him from last year. Um, kept a good watch on him. Um, he had been training with Gateshead, who did off from a contract, so we've done well to acquire him. But yeah, he's, he brings a, a balance to the side. He's left footed, he's got a long throw, um, he's got a robustness about him. He played 49 games last season. Um, and he's a good character. And that's what we want good characters in the group that's going to push each other. We want competition for each places, and he gives us that. Um, so yeah, really pleased to get them both on board, and I think you see from today, Brad, um, how aggressive he was. Yeah. Yeah. And ultimately, he's part of the team that did get promoted from this division, and that's what you want. Isn't it? Yeah, we do. Uh, they acknowledge how to, to win games um, in this division, and he's, he'll bring that um, along with the players we've got right now. It, it's another good acquisition. I think we're up to 20 players now, so that's probably us done. Um, so I'm pleased how the squad's looking. I might say, just get the fire details into his play and, and his patterns, and, and we'll be fine. Obviously, a train session earlier today as well, so I suppose that is part of it, isn't it? Trying to get the players to play when they're a bit tired. Yeah, that, that's the whole idea. We're, we're getting into a certain level of fitness now, and like I said, we will be coming in um, before before games to do training sessions. Just again, a little pattern to play, a uh, little bit of detail, but it's not always black and white on the detail we can give them. So the players have to go out there and, and uh, adjust, and again, pictures aren't always drawn for us, so you don't know formation teams are playing league games where I've looked at opposition so we're coming with a general idea working on different formations but 
in the hole we're going to play against a low block so we have to be a slow block and when the, we are good in possession how can be resolute and organised behind so again things we can uh, work on from that. And just finally obviously uh, game ended just a little bit early with Kean going down what's the latest on him? Yeah no, so, yeah, so Kean, yeah probably a week out um, probably need two stitches in it um, he's got a little bit of an egg above where the cut was uh, it's like a little puncture wound from a stud so it did look worse um, than I think it actually is but again we'll We'll look at him tomorrow and we'll see where I'm at, but I expect about a week. Um, so it's not a brain scrubbing.